All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Jordy Index, and I want to read you guys something. Cronus, PS5, January 24th update. We are aware of an issue with the Zen and PS5. As of this morning, January 24th, that's today, or well, yesterday, the console is prompting everyone to do update. And if you do, Zen will no longer connect to the PS5 without disconnecting. Oh, the horror. However, this update is not mandatory. Simply skip it and everything should work with the Zen as expected. Note, it will update in rest mode too. So you should disconnect the PS5 from the internet, skip the update, then reconnect it again. There is currently no timetable on a fix. So don't be offended if you're directed to a check this notice when asking for an ETA. It could be 24 hours, 24 days, 24 months. We don't know until we've dug into it. This notice will be updated as soon as we have more information. We appreciate your patience. Wow. I want to talk about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Wimpy Index. I'm wimpy because I can't ever catch my damn breath and this cold's kicking the crap out of me. I want to talk about cheaters. We talk about them a lot on this channel, but I really want to dig deep here for a second. We're going to get into that article here in about the middle of the video. If you want to hear it, skip to that part. But I want to talk about something for a second. There's this weird belief inside of the video game world, well, mostly down in my comment section, where we talk about cheaters, where people think that I care what their personal lives are. I truly don't. I don't mean that negatively. I'm coming at that from a video game standpoint. When you come to me on on a video where we're specifically on the topic of cheating and you say my son got banned because he's very good at the game and he's not a cheater there's a few things i need to talk about one i can't fix that for you two i can't prove that your son's not cheating three i don't think you can prove your son's not cheating and four he got banned for a reason most likely we've entered this weird world where everybody has to care about everybody's personal lives and nobody does you get what I'm saying? If I make a video calling out cheaters, I get comments like, oh, I have a disability, so I have to use an aimbot because I can't move my right hand properly. Okay, I don't care, don't cheat. I get comments like, oh, I use the wall hacks because I have bad vision and it helps me see players better. I don't care, don't cheat. No matter how you're gonna phrase it and how you try to mimic it or hit it with some buzzwords or link it to some sort of thing in the world that's supposed to make me feel bad, if you're cheating, you're a cheater and you're scum. And if you're in quotation marks that good that you get banned, I don't believe you. I just simply don't. I've played with legitimately 5KD players that aren't cheating and they're not getting banned every two seconds. There's stuff that makes players go, hmm, that guy's probably cheating. It's the jump around a corner and have one nanosecond and you hit a headshot, probably cheating. It's the ungodly like ability to know exactly where everybody and anybody is moving on the entire map at any given time. Best example of this is a Warzone player who never looks behind them and never looks left never looks right they always just run straight and somehow always find the enemy it's simple we've entered a time in the world where everybody cares more about everybody else's personal lives and everybody's trying to manipulate everybody into caring about their own personal life more than everything else but it's starting to bleed into our video games i'm saying this because every single time i make a video about cheating i get comments that are trying to make me feel bad for them or they try to make me think that i'm gonna be okay with them cheating because they said some key buzzword i don't care if you cheat you are a scumbag. If you word it in any way to try to hit the buzzwords that are the political landscape of the world right now, I don't care. I think that's pretty clear on my channel. I'm gonna double down and I'm gonna hold my position on this. It's kind of what my whole channel's about. We should never care about who's in our lobby and what's going on in their personal lives because guess what? People get off work, they've had bad days. That doesn't mean that I had a bad day. It doesn't mean that I need to go, hey guys, everybody in the lobby, how was your day? And then people go, oh, my day was rough. And I go, oh, I'll give you this win, bud. Oh man, you, you got hurt at work and you're using an aimbot because you can't use your hand? Oh, that's okay, man. Feel free to just aimbot me all day long, man. I'll just give you the kills. No, that's stupid. I need to get that mentality gone first because I'm sick and tired of hearing it especially when it comes to cheating. You can tell me about your personal life all you want, but don't try to make excuses for being a scumbag. If you got issues, you can talk about them. And I genuinely respond to most of those comments. I also have a Discord where people have reached out because they're having a hard time. That's also fine. I just find that the people who are pro cheats often will try to make it so you look like the bad guy in any situation. If you call them out for cheating and then they come to you and they're like, I cheat because I lost my eye in Afghanistan. Use your other eye not that hard are you blind did you lose both eyes you clearly had an eye enough to go to a website download a cheat enter your credit card information pay for that cheat then use it on your console use it on your pc clearly your one eye works good enough for reading all that it doesn't work good enough for you to see anything and if it's your kid i'd look a little deeper i'm, I'm a dad myself i would say look a little deeper i know for a fact man 
you should look deeper so let's get into the overall thing now that we got that little psa out of the way i'm not often that serious with you guys because i really it, none of this is serious it's a video game right the rants are meant to be over the top it's meant to draw attention it's meant to bring you guys in it's also meant to give you guys the sounding board you guys need a lot of people go through this world and they say nothing and they just bottle it all up and then one day they hear somebody say one thing and then somebody gets mad and then somebody else gets mad and it's a stress reliever I'll give you an example of this i went to starbucks once with my wife we had to be at a very important event we pulled into starbucks we left an hour and a half early we get to Starbucks and we have an hour to get there. We've had lots of time. My wife goes in. I saw that drive through empty, 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 empty. It kept emptying, but my wife never kept coming out. She was only getting a couple of coffees. Kept emptying, kept emptying. I kept seeing customers going in, but I never saw customers coming out of the store. 35 minutes later, I finally had enough and I got up and I went into the store. As I walk in, the lady goes, we have a coffee for Adam using my name, not my wife's name. Okay. I walked straight up to that counter. I just walked in the building. I grabbed that coffee because, well, I'm Adam. Looked at that lady and I said, how about instead of serving drive through nonstop, we start serving customers in here. Now, I want to make this clear up until this point, every single customer, and there was probably 40 of them inside this Starbucks had just been standing there waiting patiently for their coffee. Because I said something, all of a sudden this other lady said something, this other guy said something, this other guy said something. And all of a sudden everybody was like, yeah, we're tired of watching you serve the drive through Yeah, I've been here 45 minutes. One lady had been there an hour and five minutes for two coffees. Because now in these places, they now prioritize skip the dishes, they now prioritize the curbside pickup, and they now prioritize drive through windows instead of the actual customers in the store. And the specific Starbucks was definitely the worst I've ever seen. It's kind of like McDonald's when they park you every time. You get what I'm saying? This channel's never been meant to be serious. It's just been meant to be us ranting. Sometimes I say stuff you guys agree with. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's such a 50 50. There's always two sides to everything that we talk about. The one side that I never understood though was cheating. Like for instance, this Cronus. Yes, Sony blocked it. And I see people crying all over the place. Oh, they shouldn't be able to do that. I purchased this with my hard earned money. I bought this with my own money. Sony shouldn't be able to block it. Oh, I'm sure that they can because there's a whole lot of fine print that I know you didn't read. And technically you can't do anything with their software. And I gotta be honest with you, the more cheaters that exist inside of the console world, the less people who are gonna buy consoles. You're seeing it all over the place. Cheating has become rampant inside of video games. It's now become almost normal to be a cheater. If you're not cheating, you're the abnormality. It's gotten so common that I had a guy on my own channel here now call me out not once, not twice. He's tri double, triple, quadrupled down now calling me a cheater because he saw a clip where I jumped the corner and died because I pre-fired and I hit a van. But that's where it's at. Nobody can trust anybody anymore because a good player is probably cheating. A non like hacking aimbot wall, whatever you want to do. By the way, don't come at me with that shit that hacking takes skill. I don't care. It's it's the same shit, man. We've had a point in gaming where everybody is accusing everybody of cheating. Everybody can't handle it if somebody's better than them because gaming companies have developed models like skill based matchmaking and shit like that to then make it so the game feels a certain way and you get used to that feeling because humanity is just like that we like to get used to things we don't like changing a lot and the second that somebody drops into your game who just happens to be better than you or you know did any number of one of the things that gets them down into your lobby you can tell immediately it's like seeing like a tiger standing with a bunch of freaking elk you know for a fact by the way that's a dumb analogy but we're gonna roll with it you're going to, you know that the tiger is going to destroy all those elk, but you, at the end of the day, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. You can't stop the cheater from being in your lobby and you can't get rid of the cheater in your lobby. Your only choice is either to lay down and die with the tiger or you leave, take off running. You, you leave the lobby. So it's come down to a time where we need to rely on actual PC developers. Can't rely on Activision. Let's be honest here, but we need to rely on like something like Microsoft to start dealing with this stuff on their level. We need Xbox and PlayStation to start doing stuff like PlayStation did. And that's starting to actively go after these cheats. And what they should do, don't take forever to do updates. Do a little update every single day for freaking forever. Tweak one line of code every single day in whatever is blocking their cheats. That way, every single day, they have to do updates. And every single day, the little crybaby cheaters have to spend more time diagnosing their actual games. And if you don't want to do that, start just banning their hardware, ban their PlayStation, ban their IP address, ban everything. If you get caught cheating, there needs to be severe punishments. None of this fucking, oh, you lost your account bull crap. It doesn't matter anymore. Look at Call of Duty accounts, man. You can buy an unlock tool and you get every skin in five seconds anyway. So it doesn't freaking matter. It needs to be drastic steps because a company like Cronus shouldn't be able to just post on their website. Yeah, we're going to fix it eventually. We just got to look into it. 24 days, 24 hours, 24 months, 24 years. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out eventually. 
like it's gotten to the point where people are blatantly posting pictures on twitter of their corona zen sitting right in front of them you got people with stupid cheaters that are literally posting them cheating to tournaments that's how common it's become is so common now that these people's friends groups are all cheating and their friends are cheating and then they all hang out together and they get so used to talking about cheating that they just post it to twitter they just post it to x upload a quick video where they accidentally leave their aimbot on or their wall hacks on take a picture of their desk set up and forget that the cronus is just chilling right there right in the middle of the room until companies like maybe playstation's starting to work towards it start legitimately just going boom right after the cheaters and just removing it and imagine if you cheated in a video game right and you got proven to have a cronus hooked up to your system and you were cheating in a video game they just banned your server they just banned your ps5 it doesn't matter if you own 100 games or one game they just ban it can't use the internet anymore cannot use playstation network at all how fast would all these little losers all these little crybabies stop cheating it happened pretty quick because that's a 700 dollars repair every single time 700 bucks every single time you want to go and cheat can't do it account based because you could just make a million accounts look at all the call of duty warzone streamers man those guys are playing on a million different accounts you have to do it you have to be vicious you have to be hard and you have to crack down with an iron fist not this activision splat mechanic or invisible players or slow-mo or any of that stuff no damage no you have to legitimately get rid of them it's fun to watch a cheater get ruined, but it's also a lot of fun to watch him just get fucking destroyed. It would be so funny to watch Twitch Warzone community crumble if they just said, you know what, as of tomorrow, January 26th or whatever, pick a day, doesn't matter. As of tomorrow, anybody found with cheats is immediately hardware banned, IP banned, or whatever, region locked, I don't care. Do whatever you need to do. All of a sudden, every one of you, oh, I'm taking a week off. Oh, no, I'm not playing Warzone anymore. That game sucks. It's so boring. I'm going to go over here and go play like CSGO. I know we didn't really talk much about that article, but the article wrote itself. I wanted to get some opinions out of myself, some thoughts out to you guys, and just kind of show you guys this gameplay where I'm trying to show you guys I'm trying to adapt to the new Modern Warfare 3 uh, playstyle. It's a lot slower of a game, guys, and you're supposed to hold it down with long sight lines so then you can really mess up people. All right, but I don't know what it did wrong here. I got a good KD. I didn't cap the objective like I'm supposed to. I held down one side of the map. I still lost. Tell me what I did wrong. I'm adapting. I'm trying to adapt here. What did I do wrong? Really, I'm genuinely trying to adapt to this new slower playstyle because rushing is bad and we've learned that. Comment section told me this. You guys control me. Anything for the views, right? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I've been your host. Can't catch my breath index. I'm sorry for all the... <laughs> but I legitimately can't breathe. Special thank you to the channel members. You guys are amazing. And I really hope that you guys will leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I want you to have an amazing day because you damn well deserve it. Got some big stuff planned over the next few months. Stay tuned. Have a good one. Oh, dang it. We didn't get the win? What do you mean? Me and Macho got zero captures. How did we not win? Doesn't make any sense i'm trying to adapt to the new meta new meta is don't play objective check camp in one spot check think you're good check i did it all how did we not win seriously i got an amazing kd oh my god the kd alone should just be an automatic win